Hello and welcome to Zach 3 TV. This is race five of the season for the CCS at Hillside. As you can see, starting poles of 48 and not a weeb. Looks like we have must, might have something in the chat. Maybe one of the cars have an issue. Nope, that was from Happy Hour. Um, we got Dark X running the booth with us today. Two part term drivers: of Skylar Taylor in the 29, and was starting in the top five, and then the uh, 86 of Ian Styles for uh, Wild Wolf Motorsports. Uh, more things to note. Points leader after last week at uh, what is Rockingham, or not Rockingham, but Old Spice is Drummer Chick 81. And second in standings, Bird, who won Rockingham a couple races ago. Uh, you know, Paul's Jr., most recent winner in the two. I believe he's fourth in the standings. Uh, he is starting pretty good right now. As we will start watching the standings as the race is going. Bird starting in the top five, however, so currently as it runs, as it stands, um, it looks like. Uh, uh, yeah, it really looks like uh, Bird's going to be your points leader at the moment of this race. And he's starting second. Uh, again, packed field, 42 cars. 100 laps here at Hillside, and this is not quite your typical Hillside. This is the uh, more banked version, so it'll race a little bit more like a super speedway in a sense. Be kind of like your Atlanta in a way, since uh, I did not download the original Hillside. I downloaded the one from uh, one of the online leagues they're running, so that's what we'll be vibing in today. Again, not a weeb on pole. Be helping them in constructor standings. Uh, they have the chance to already get two wins of the season uh, with part time entry, uh, Jet 64, who got the win at in the uh, York Perman Patties 400 or 200, whatever they call it. Uh, and uh, they're going to be up here, so we'll see how that goes. And uh, Roach starting third, and NH, so two Dodges. Chevy, Toyota, and a Ford top five, so no surprise all of manufacturers mostly Dodge. And we're gonna be going to green at five minutes, so about a minute and a half till we get the uh, engines fired up. Clark's currently doing something at the moment, so don't worry about him too much. But yeah, last week's winner was Dale yep. Paul's Jr. Bird, winner week before that. And then I believe the week before that winner was the 67 is Sean Ard race. No, yeah, no race two, yeah, and then Jet 64, of course. I believe we only have four full, full, four full-time winners, I think. It's like it's the year of the part-timers at this point. I got the standings right. Should be. Missing somebody on the standings. Let's see, Seanard, Bird, Wallace. Oh, uh, Darky, yeah, you got any uh, initial thoughts? Well, if you like sh short track racing with a bit of super speedway package, it's right just for you. A very steep angles. <laughs> Yeah, problem. Uh, this was supposed to be Old Spice. That was Arnold Schwarzenegger. So, um, yeah, this was supposed to be Old Spice, but uh, we'll just do that next week. Next week's Old Spice. Because uh, I just skipped Old Spice. Oh, well. We'll roll with that. Roll with the punches. Apologies for that. Uh, this was supposed to be Old Spice, but we're doing Hillside. <laughs> Here we are. Man. Um, I've had a long week. Drivers gonna go in. We got 48 versus 17. 100 laps. We're gonna be dicing and slicing. We're green here at Hillside. All right, and not a wee. Look like he's gonna take the lead with a little help of Roach. In the 66.
I do believe I turned on game yellows, so if they do rec uh, it'll automatically throw the yellow without me having to figure out if they wreck or not. So far so clean as we Hard to keep in with turn one and two and three and four, so they go by so quickly. So far, here comes Jonah. Go, You're gonna try to send it down. Lead a lap here, take one from Roach. He's got the draft on the bottom. Not gonna make it work. Roach gets lap two. Be led. It looks like Take we may be conveyor belt style one. here for a little bit until tires start to wear out, and then we'll start figuring out who saved up their stuff. That's just a guess, though. Now, we may have green flag pit stops, too, if it stays green. True. Last week's Ferndale Paul Jr. Pit. Here it comes. Wait, hold on a minute. We did do Old Spice. I'm crazy. We did, okay, yeah, we did Old Spice. Man... This this I am losing my mind. A lot of rain is going on the hard to keep it. Alright, yeah, so to keep uh, it all together, yeah. Daniel Paul Jr. is gonna be the first is already the first to ever leave multiple laps, so we did Pulse Spice, working him. Chest five hundred Pretty much got it. Here it comes. Oh, okay, it's because yes. this is race okay, yeah. I was losing my mind. Jeff Jordan, third in standings, takes P one. Trying to take the lead for the uh, standing as well. Three wide for a second. Here comes Bobby Isaac. He goes down low. He's going to get overtaken by the 24. Who blew their engine from the lead last week. <laughs> Looking for redemption right now. Getting redemption time as he takes second. Again, a little bit of conveyor yeah, belt. Say. But as this run goes on, we're starting to see some more cars You know, take this lead. As Dawn Patrol Motorsports leading the field 1-2 right now. Bobby Isaac already shuffled back outside the top five in less than a lap as he was looking to potentially take the uh, top spot there for a little bit. He did get involved in a wreck last week, cost him a lot of spots, unfortunately. That'll put a lead, and we already in the lap number. Well, now there's a lap number nine, but not yet. And come so to, to, come to complete lap eight from Frank Chilton. He's got a pretty good run there on the bottom, but I think 24 has got on the top here. Yeah, messed the raw pace himself. Yeah, for Gunther. Three wide for the lead. Gunther sends it three wide. Teammate Sandy Messi in the five, track house. And pole position racing's Joy Paints. Last season got four Man. wins in that 77 for uh, Salamander Inc. Went over to pole position raceway, race, racing with Chevy. And former team owner right behind Joy Paints. And I believe uh, Messi can try to lead a lap here for track house, and uh, that would help them in constructor standings as they need some. I don't really need it, but they're trying to get a little bit of a gain there. Joy Paints, yeah. believe it or not, looking to lead their first lap of 2024. Have had a very slow start to the year this season. As they were, uh, they went out guns blazing last year. This year, uh, not the same. But they're looking to hopefully do well. And, uh, former team owner right behind him, Car Salamander, who's also had a very quiet oh, couple seasons. German Chick 81 almost, uh, almost got door closed on by the 26. It look like it's gonna be the track with the most lead changes per lap. Yeah, we see we've seen a couple cars uh, stay up front and then lead some laps here. Joy Paints just led their second straight lap. May go for three here. They could use most laps at this point in the season. They're not really doing too hot in standings, and they haven't really shown anything too extraordinary in terms of performance at this point. Especially with a new team and whatnot, so it makes sense. Patrick Miller, who's dead last in standings, trying to get his first laps in the top five this season. Two DNFs and a very abysmal season other than that. They're trying to lead their first laps this season. And drummer chick leading a couple laps again. Lap. Coming into this race is the points leader. We'll see if that uh, ends up being the, the case when we come out of this race. And Zevil and probably or, or Zevil and uh, Patrick Miller are doing very poorly in standings right now. Patrick's going to try to lead his first lap of his CCS career right here at Hillside. We'll do so. Not teammates with the six. Uh, he's one car operation here in the CCS. Cactus Enterprises. 
really their first lap of the season. Yep. Well, first. the race, I should say. And Wicker Rare Racing, Zevil. Ooh, Zevil bit. had a very great Jazz 500. Unfortunately, ended up in smoke as he crashed in that race. So he's going to try to get some redemption here. Is is also very not doing well in standings as well. Let's check our standings, make sure no one's fallen That was a dead. aggressive move so far. Yep, yeah, see Lethal Mourner in 27. Uh, 82, real gaming freak. Championship 4 contender. Two wins last season, the 82 car. Really went on guns blazing. That team, Dodge Motorsports, really had a great year last season. Uh, got the championship with third and likes the game. Their team owner. Gonna try to do it again this season. Zevil in the 55 Gear Ray Toyota for Wick Ray Racing. New team. Leading up front. Uh, they've shown to be strong in these draft tracks. It's a fine rhythm these guys are going on. They're being aggressive, but not too much aggressive. 82 is diving to see if they can get underneath 55. 55 was able to block. It just shows that aggression and that want to be up here and the want to be in this series and successful. You know, they got a win at Watkins Glen last season with Pure Motorsports. Really shown a whole lot. Didn't really show a whole lot of promise. Now they got their own operation. We'll see how that goes for them. I know it's only race five, so we can't really get a whole whopping amount of information in just that many races. But nonetheless, that was a know. smooth move by the 82 while taking the lead. Yep, two wins last season. Bristol and uh, I forget what the other one was, but trying to show what they got in that 82 car. And 2022 Jazz Founder winner, Steven the Box. I think the race will be over before I even know it. So we already had nearly 80 laps to go. That's everyone's game at this point. Yep, it'll come down to. I think it'll come down to tire wear. And, you know, if they may wreck at some point. They may not. It's a lot of questions still left to be answered. Vince Freeze, believe it or not, lead his first lap of his CCS career. Boy, and Bullsit are going to try to come back, but nope. Roach has something to say about it. The 66. He led a lap early in this race, if I'm not mistaken. Then Jessica in the 88. Or gets closed. Vince Freeze holding that line very well, trying to get, you know, get some laps led. He needs them. Not doing too well in standings after a very poor start to the season. He's holding on strong. He needs every point he can get at yeah. this rate. Yeah, Roach trying to do the same. He's not doing too hot in standings either, but not as bad as a 28. Here comes the 88 of Strauss. She's going to try to lead a couple of laps. Can get by Roach. We're coming to Fireball. Is he trying to fit it in, but he gets blocked. We went in there, and you can see how severe these bankings are to this track. There's Nance Fireball 48. 2018 runner up championship. Didn't get any wins last season. Had a, had a rough season, really, last year. This year, hoping to try to turn it around. He's trying to get second away, but he just can't get enough run. Yeah, we're see that top line is dissipated, so we're starting to see a little train there now on the bottom with the, as the tires worn out. Roach trying to take some domination here at this point. Is uh, leading the most laps is uh, currently something on his pocketbook. See some guys trying to get underneath each other, but you see there's no run on the top. Uh, yeah, they're we'll running out of We'll see away. how successful that is. Corners. We'll see how how well that does. It's, it's only lap 26. Oh, Roach gets arrow tight. That's going to cost him actually probably quite a few spots. Now there's no top lane. Per se, there's no top lane. Bird's going to get oh, shuffled I up there. I thought making it through wide, but... Oh, Jessica gets moved up right in the middle of the corner by the nine. We're now officially a quarter of the way through a couple laps ago. I'm telling you, the way these guys at this pace. Yeah, it looked like they're single file. Getting... But no. Yeah, they tried, but once you get loose, you're going to lose your spots. Patrick Miller, the look Zine looking to lead his first uh, lap of the season uh, with his new team, pole position racing. Well, that was a bit of a touch by the 97, but it's pretty much clean. Yeah, they kept it, kept it going. Here comes the, here comes the bird. 
Bird again. Second in standings by one point. By one point coming into this race behind German Chick 81. I was we, we were singing his praises at uh, Rockingham. Such a good good driver in this league. So much success here. Good ones. Barber boss Reggie was in the three. Yep, track house race. Then try to lead a couple of laps. Wasn't gonna return yeah, to the team. Second guessed it. Came back in the three. Oh, huge block there. I'm in front of Frank Chilton. Right of Frank Chilton ain't having it. Not all these guys really want it. These guys are definitely more aggressive. Yeah, he's, that aggression's ramping up. At some point, it's going to be ramped up too much. It's only take one guy to make that one mistake, and then that's the whole field. Especially up here in the front. Now, Frank... Mr. Roth pace himself, he takes the lead. I don't know if Jordan has anything to say about it. Well, he was yeah, also, the, the, he was also, him and Bird, also very close up there in the standings. Uh, Geff is only, actually Geff is, believe it or not, 20 points behind the leader in standings. Uh, but he's, he's there. That gap's starting to become more existent. It's going to be a more closer point battle than I thought at this rate. Yeah, we start to see a lot more three wide in the mid, in the front of the pack as well. That uh, yep. doesn't usually lead to good things. I'll say that. Four wide. They saves it, or will they? Oh, they won't. Oh, Four cars in the wall. Caution is out. Seven. It was a matter of time. Big one off of two. It was a matter of time it was going to happen. Frank Chilton. His race ends up in smoke. Lap 34. Frank, do you have Rick Crown Jr.? Well, they went four wide. It didn't work. Let's kind of get an idea what happened here. The 97 came down 2405. Just wasn't any room. Uh, There's plenty of room on this racetrack to go four wide. They just, they just didn't make it work. The 67 came down, I think. I need to yeah, slow Frank down here, so. off the wall, and then another incident. Fireball gets into Bobby Isaac. Yeah, Bobby Isaac. That's another race for Bobby in the dumps. We have to go to TV1 here. Helicopter's just not too detailed enough. And right in the sign, who almost avoided it. In, in the 97. Yeah, and the Patrick it's Miller. About... That'll be the... if He probably is done for the day. Patrick Miller. Roach, Luz, and then Reggie, there's another car. Taylor, Thrasher, Messi. Reggie, Messi, Thrasher. There's just so much. Uh, I think Bird had a really narrow avoidance there. That's another. Yeah, that's Ricky Crown Jr., but I think it was yeah, somebody else was in there as came well. Came down right into Crown. Oh. Cody's in it. Yeah, Cody. It's so hard to get an idea how this wreck is because it's so massive. Yeah, oh, oh Dripsy got into them. Messi, Thresher, Gar Salamander, Burt Crown. See how this 10 car got involved. Did did a Bird get out of it? Bird was not involved in that accident. You, we're going to have to take a look at Bird's uh, on board of that yeah, accident. Maybe. And maybe not a weeb as well if he, avoid, if he, if, if he avoided it su successfully. Yeah. He actually did. Yeah, he did. Um, we'll take a look at the... How he actually avoided it. Yeah, it's Sky Tay. The real yep. time at this point. Nice. 27.59. Just a huge wreck. Fireball. So let's go ahead and go with the onboard of the 48. And uh, the 50. And then we'll go back to live coverage and see what's going on from there. Not a week to avoid this. Man. Yeah, he... I want to really look at Bird's avoidance of this. Look at Patrick Miller in the wall there. Wow. Master class. Bird. Master class by Bird. Huge wreck avoidance there. It cost him a few spots, but he. <laughs> He lives to see another day. Huge wreck there in turn two. 
caused by some poor wider so let's see who's the leader of the race now i'd imagine whoever someday has taken the lead six flame so i imagine at this point uh this car would probably be in contention for most laps we're gonna try double flower restarts here gift jordan on the hot seat make sure he doesn't jump it if he does we'll disable uh, double flower restarts first caution of the day we're not even halfway yet so a lot of race to go uh again i think we're gonna do a second a lap it is gonna be the limit it looks like patrick miller is gonna be three dnfs in five races that's um that's very Not bad the best start you want to start right, chilton season. birch crown jr who was uh having something well in standings uh, again it's only race five but man rough start some of these guys seasons Carl salamander zine another heartbreak race he was up front briefly fireball 48 he was up front a little bit Bobby Isaac, another bad race. Jacob Shangle, another bad race. Brad Stover, the bad luck continues. I don't think he's ever had a good luck. Roach is still in the race, I believe, but he's a lap down. Um, since he was a lap down at the time of the... I don't believe he's in contention for Lucky Dog. Uh, but he is on the hot seat for getting manually removed from the race. We are going green this time. Go ahead and go to Sumdan. We'll have to make sure... Uh, where is Geff? Where, where did Geff go? Must have hit it. Oh, there he is. Whoa. What? Yes, uh... I don't think he was... Did he uh, just turn green? That was weird. Maybe. Maybe Whatever the game... To... I'm just going to go with what the game says, but I'm going to go ahead and pause. We're not doing any more Devil Fall restarts. That is the worst Devil Fall restart I've ever seen, honestly. So whatever the game says in terms of penalties, we're going to go with here, because I'm not sure what that was. Yeah, 07 is going to get a penalty. Yeah, whatever the game says in terms of penalties, we're just going to go with, because I have no idea what that was. Uh, we'll keep an eye on the 66. Uh, some of these guys seem to pee I say that, but that was just such a weird start. And it looks like the 60 is going to have to... Yeah, got... I have some more damage repair on the 60 if we get another yellow. So they're probably going to be a little off pace. They're not on the track. <laughs> yeah, much of them getting repaired. Uh, Zero 07 repair. is coming back onto the track after serving that penalty that the game decided to give them specifically. And 18 as well of Gunther also had a penalty for restart violation. So I decided to just go with the game because that is the worst restart I've ever seen. The 5 came yeah, in, the uh, 60's coming out, 59, <laughs> let's see, 23, there's so many cars I gotta keep track of that are off pace at this point. Off pace and then let's practice this one. Alright, and then Messi's out with their penalty, so currently the leader is the 77, who the heck, is, oh, Joy Paints. Drummer chick back there. Uh, we went through track and they did not get involved in the accident. All right, back up to the front of. Uh, I don't even know what that was. The worst restart I've seen in a long time. <laughs> uh, well, we uh, well, we gave it to the game. Said uh, whoever you said gets penalties gets penalties, and they handed out a few of them. Uh, six. Uh, we'll rule that on the 63. They did not go on the start, so we'll just rule it that way because that's the only way I can really go because I really don't know it's such a weird restart but um no, it's that whole bottom line race. jumped it but it's hard to say but n regardless the guys who did jump it are no longer up front um let's go and go back to our thing and see if any um yeah. until the, I am point. a little worried about the 59 see these guys are going 159 Barney Thresher is going uh, let's see how much. Let's see. Like... Yeah, Barney Thrasher, I'm going to have to give him and whoever, who's in front of the 59. The five's on pace. It's hard to judge. If he loses to 10.55 or more, he's like over. Ah, uh, so he's going 152. Uh, it's really hard to judge. 
Because, like, the draft is so weird, but he's also keeping up with the five some. I don't know, it's really weird. I think I'll let him stay in there for a little while. Okay. Our pull sitter back up way. front. You can try to come up here. Uh, the 63, who originally was supposed to be up front in that last start, is coming back up here. Um, I, I just don't even know what to, I don't even know what to call that restart. It was such a weird restart. I've never. I mean, I've seen something like that, but not at such extremity. Uh, I don't even know what to call it. But here comes uh, the eight, and the two. Eight. You just reached the halfway point. 51 out of 100 laps, and there comes the 8. Uh, Eli the Wolf. Leaves his first lap. He's helped by well. Dale Pulse Jr. Yep, last week's winner. Last week's pole sitter. Dark X Rain there on the bottom as well. With a Chevy. Ooh. Holy moly. Man, dang. Dale Pulse Jr. <laughs> super aggressive. Yep, super aggressive. Yeah, I think we're safe Man. to say that 59 is keeping up just enough to where I'm, like, I'm literally not, I'm not joking, just enough for me to just be like, yeah, I think he's good. More like quickly, so I give it another, I don't know, 20 laps he may be a factor in this. I wouldn't even say, well, yeah, but maybe, by that maybe, time, we'll the lap time's at 20, so he, he'll be going a lap down the next five or six laps I think at this rate but I think if he catches the draft he won't be as such of a a uh, problem I think but Daniel Paul Jr. currently controlling the field at this rate he could go for two in a row I do believe he I want to say he did that in 2022 but I could be wrong Joy Paints wants to say something about that however in the 77 however doesn't have the draft on the bottom to make it work. This is what you call on-edge racing because one mistake. Okay, there goes Cody. You're going to slow him down a little bit. Looks like somewhere we get by. Uh, and he goes another lap down. I think Cody's okay. Yeah, should be fine. It's kind of hard to gauge because he's on the He's on. He's not like on the lead lap, so really hard to gauge on that 60. Real fucking But yeah, Dale Paulus Jr. still leading laps here. Crazy BGD there in second. Trying to make something happen. NH outside pole sitter and Zevil trying to come up here with Wick Rare Racing. I think the other Wick Rare Racing entry in the. Uh, I know there was another one. I can't remember who it was. Bird. Yeah, Bird was the other one. The one that was doing really well. Evaded the wreck, but unfortunately I think they lost so much track position uh, they're kind of stuck now in 21st, so despite a good start to the day, uh, just kind of got mired in traffic and nowhere to go. It was a 5 Crazy BGD. Trying to take the lead here, and he will. In H and here comes Martin Thurston III. We're talking about him. He's going to also be a lap factor, so... Uh, Thing is here, what what lane is he going to go to? So uh, he doesn't want to block the leaders, but he's kind of stuck. Yeah, he's, gonna... yeah, he's kind of stuck. In order for him to go, he could have went a lane higher, but it's loose up there, I'd imagine. So not what he wants to do. So that's unfortunately going to hold up the zero five, but that's going to let Yoiko take the lead. Yoiko uh, did very well at Denver Motorsports Park last season. At one of the Smosh Championship 2021, has not done anything here since. Here's Sean Arge, Jazz 500 winner. Man, it race is intense. Yeah, they're swapping spots like crazy at this point. Hey, close quarter, close quarter racing almost nose to tail, and you make one mistake and go high, you're gonna lose your positions quicker than ever. Perhaps, yeah. So people made it work on the top though. Depends on who you're drafting yeah. with and when you're drafting with them. Eight cars are going to try to take the lead back. Not going to make it work. 24 and 81 almost hit, almost spun each other <laughs> on the turn turn two there. Dark X Rain is going to try the bottom here. But Sean Ard 
holds the lead. More laps led. He's also top five in the standings right now. Don't sleep on him either. I think all of our top five drivers in the standings have had a very good day. Uh, we may exclude Jeff Gordon. Is he still in this race? Uh, or on pace? No, he's not. Uh, he was having a good race up until that accident on lap 34. But I think Sean Hart. He a couple of laps at least. He did, but unfortunately, I don't think he's going to be a part of that top five points anymore. I'll sleep on the. Well, I guess do sleep on 23. They get involved in there. So the 9 of 51 may be a decent prospect, believe it or not. But race ain't over yet. Defending champ of the 20 and 30 likes of gaming, trying something. Joy Paints is not done either. Some Dan. He's the one to watch. We just count to see how many drivers have led their first lap. Why do so they go by so fast? Not a stat I want to count, though. I'll, I'll, I'll send an export. If anyone wants to get a stat for that, if they have the time and energy to do it, I don't. Uh, have at it. I'll send the export a couple days after the race is up. Have You can go to town on it. That's up to you. 66. So we're almost like... I wonder, if, I wonder how Roach is doing. Roach is still in this race. Oh, there he is. I was about to say, like, I was going to go to him. He hasn't gotten a lap down yet. So his damage must not yeah, be too to. crazy bad. Now, he, let's see. He, he buff, well... I don't know who this guy is or teammates between him and Sundam, but... Uh, yeah, he's teammates with the 63, team owner, actually. Well, you can call it team help in that case, because he did help Not slow really. down Sean Hart a little bit. Uh, also slow up 63, but nonetheless, 63 is going to try to make the pass here to turn one. The driver I haven't talked about in a while is Strauss, because she's also could be a factor in this as well. She was up for a few laps ago. Yeah. Three I'm wide there. Sean R getting shuffled up. Nearly three wide. Tell me, these guys are going to get it. Four wide when we've seen that wreck. Just because going to fall back. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, that mid pack is getting pretty feisty. Man. So far, some man is leading, leading the way, nearly with 30 laps to go. Well, but he does have Daniel Jr. on his tail. Yeah, a couple of rear cars as well. Man, Paul just gets shuffled out by BGD. Zevil gets shuffled out by NH. We got ourselves the old fashioned car shuffle. I don't believe BGD got a win last season. However, he did have a really good season for his rookie year. If you don't, he's going for this win for today. Got another lap for us. Uh, 18. Got that restart violation. The game decided to give them. So, what uh, could have been a possible uh, race win day for the 18 is going to quite possibly end up being. Uh, costly is they're about to go lap down here. They're on pace for sure, no doubt. Track house cars. Teammates to the two, so. And uh, two does not waste any time trying to get some air with her teammate and just shuffle that 05 out of the way. Daniel Pauls Jr. Looking really? to do something that hasn't been done in quite a minute, especially with these next gen cars, I don't believe. Anyway, I'm, remember, I'm not as good with the stats as I used to be. Uh, but Neil Paul Jr. could go two in a row uh, here today if he can get up front and win this thing. One last week at Old Spice. I don't think it would be the first time he's went two in a row either. Here comes Yoko. And another teammate, uh, Reggie Fogelman. The other car on that team is out of the race. Five of Messi. I, I believe they're out of the race anyway. And Yoko is for position. Yeah, the five, uh, uh, never mind, the five is still in the race, I think. Here we go, so the... No, never mind, the five, five is still in the race, but they're two laps down, but the two has been shuffled out. The uh, 18 is now not on their side. Yoiko has taken the lead. These guys lost a ton of spots. A ten yeah, spots in what one lap. To... Holy moly. Reggie Fogelman did not help the team teammate there. By no stretch. The 18. 
18. It was kind of helping. But uh, now it's nothing. We've got four dodges on the bottom. Uh, not really any team operations there except for uh, Railfan Motorsports in the 28 and the 17. That's about it. 20. And make that five dodges. You got Jessica Strauss. The 88. Not a specific team there either. Two laps ago. Defending champ. Starting Alexa Gaming taking the lead. I could have been disqualified, so that's what happened to him. Who got disqualified? Oh. The 42. Oh. Yep, I think you, I think you were from that, um... Well, it was not in my... That restart dream. violation you was talking about earlier. Might have been. That would have been a bummer, too, but I know they were involved in that wreck as well. Yeah, so I don't have a Jeff Jordan. But at the moment, we have the 17 battling the 28. Wait, no, you're right. That was from the restart violation. Because they were in the lead at the time of that, so uh, they did not pit to serve their penalty, and the game or the game decided, all right, you are no longer being scored. And that's unfortunate, because uh, I was going to cost them some points in a lot of spots compared to just pitting. So very unfortunate for Jeff Jordan, especially where he was in points. Second, what the game says, uh, decided to go here. John Art has once again taken the oh. taken the lead, as uh, come across Cody Forge again, because he's going to lap down once again. One. Got three wide in the back. Three wide. That's. Uh, and we're under three. it. Oh, we're at 20 laps to go already. I'm telling you. Yeah, the 18 is not for intense. position, but three wide nonetheless. So is that uh, zero five a crazy BGD? Yeah, those lappers are definitely having an effect on who's going to win this race. Yeah, 60 car, unfortunately, so just, nowhere, just not enough racetrack. If you go too high, you're going to wreck. But yeah, that's just going to string yeah. out this top front and this front pack all even more. Richie 81 once again to the lead. Going to try to hold that points lead in that 81 car. Lap 83 and one thing about this track, I know, you get too close, you gotta make sure you have some good tires. Oh, man, these guys are on edge. Yeah. Did we talk about overtimes? We didn't, because I didn't turn them on. <laughs> oh, boy. Hopefully we don't get to the point of having overtime. But at this rate, it looks like these guys are getting looser and looser. And those tires are aging quite a bit. I don't think they've pitted yet either. I don't know if we'll have to pit. I don't think we will have a pit. Could be right. I think we have what? 16 laps to go and... This is some... I would say on edge types of speeds, but... First part, it is real tight. Once again, going a lap down the 59. Nowhere to go. Three wide. He's going to have to choose a line to get in front of. He's going to choose that top line. Wisely so. Another lap car, but unfortunately, that's Daniel Paulus Jr., Crazy BG, and Lyle Toledo. That's going to get stopped up there. It's the, it's the eight, I believe. So the one thing that we do know is three wide is possible. Well, four yes. wide. So far, no. You're pretty much risking it. Yeah, Dr. Terrain was involved in that four wide as well as... Uh, I believe uh, yeah. someone else, uh, the 24 lives to see another day. I think it was Lyle Toledo. Uh, both of them live to see another day. Unfortunately, Zion and uh, Chilton do not. Eli and the Wolves so far uh, kind of leading this line right now. Like we were talking about, we see some cars, you know, save up their stuff a little differently, do something different, start leading as these tires wear out. That's what we're seeing right now. they holding the low lane. 48 could do something uh, we usually see at these uh, at, at most racetracks, especially just tracks that don't have any passing. Pull sitter wins the race. <laughs> could see that here today. With a style of track. He's not taking any prisoners. I'm telling you. Yeah, there's a good gap between the 8 and the 6. The 8 could drop down and try to keep that second place spot if he, if he has some tires to do it. We have another lap car up here. 
Lap car is Kyler yeah, Taylor. We'll be going down a lap for the first time this race, so that'll be a factor. And so is Dripsy Shive, both going down a lap for the first time this race, because they're side by side, which is not what the leaders want right now. It's gonna be even making it harder to get around. 29 is trying to get an advantage on the 54. It's been messy two laps down, the only other track house car in the race that's not on the lead lap. We're talking about track house. Uh, PS Motorsports and it uh, looks like uh, Wild Wolf Motorsports and Dodge Racing, or no, uh, Railfan as well. He's going to get 17. The 8 cars are going to be giving the lead back. Uh, the 17 car has been very good the past few seasons. I think they've gotten at least a win a season. I think they got two last year, or not last year, but 2022, and then last year they got one at Old Spice. Comes the 17, gonna try to take the lead here. He's gonna take the lead now. 17. That's even H. He's gonna be followed by Joey Paint. Mayoko's gonna follow him as well. Another lap car here, five. 17, wastes no time to get around him. They know what's at stake. They know what time of the race it is. Six laps to go. Gotta say, this race is in getting more intense raids lap. I'd be so mad if they wreck with two to go before I can throw out the overtime. Man. I gotta say. Roach gonna go lap down for the second time. Yeah, he's gotta make a choice which line he's gonna have to get in front of. With Mayoko. He's gonna choose the top. He didn't take the lead. He's gonna fifty one lead. Race. And he's got a uh he's got a uh, little gap there Yorko's got a gap between them and the the sixty seven. The eighteen's a lap down. The eighteen's gonna try to get that lap back. Just in case we get a yellow. He's gonna use the lap car as a pick. Or, or, or in this case, a drafting help. And drafting partner there. Every down exactly, five laps uh, to go. Teammates, but they are manufacturer um, teammates. John looking for two races in a two wins in five races. Pretty impressive. If he can if he can pull it off. Four to go. Three to go next time by. It's the same one race at this point. Definitely so. Show. Before Sean Hart is going on to the lead. But like you said, you can't really count anyone out. No. Nope. We're down to three laps to go. Three laps to go, two to go next time by. Man, the fact that these guys are on edge is just impressive. Two laps to go. Oh boy. 63 gets up. moved up by the 51. The money left. Now they're going to be through. White. Play back two. White flag. Sean Ard. You're currently with the lead here. That gap is what I'm worried about. I don't want to get too much of it. Nope. Can he hold on? I think he's got it he's here. Eli the Wolf. 63 is not having it with the 8 car. He's going to try to take oh, second. Wow. Sean Ard, two wins in five races. Impressive. That was intense. Oof. Sean Ard wins another one, followed by Six Flames. Eli the Wolf gets third. Uh, I think. Yeah. Vince Freeze, Freeze gets first, fourth. Yep, first career top five yep. for Vince Freeze. Yep, Green gets fifth. Mayuko gets sixth. I think Strauss gets seventh. Yep. Kazo uh, gets 61. Kazo. Kazo 61. Yep, Kazo gets eighth. Ninth goes to. Zevil in the 55. Oh, yeah, Zevil the devil. And then Drummond Trick gets the top 10. Yep. They might be able to hold that point, so we'll see how standings and whatnot figure out. That wasn't intense racing. Well, uh, Old Spice is indeed not next, and I'm not on. I'm not on Crystal Meth, so that means I was right. 
but maybe I'm not. But now next week is Coca-Cola Super Speedway. Well, that's gonna be something. Then we got Dodge Motor Drum, Mockins Glen, Bristol Dirt, or Wilkesboro. If you watch those, be sure to be sure to give a like, subscribe. Big thanks to our commentators, all that good jazz. Got any last thoughts, Dark? I'm still processing how loosely and tight this race was. <laughs> that was amazing. Got any last thoughts? Just be sure to put them in the general chat or something or in the comments section. But as for me, Dark X Rain, all those uh, represented. This cards and Cups series, the Hillside. See you next week.